Hi everybody, I'm Casey the G-Free Foodie. I found an incredibly delicious five grain porridge recipe in Bon Appetit magazine, but I'm making it gluten-free. Check it out. All right, this recipe is super simple and really hearty. And the great part about it is you can actually make the porridge up to five days in advance and throw it in the fridge. So you can make a bunch and eat on it multiple days. I'm gonna put in my grains, my gluten-free grains, of course. Got some brown rice, buckwheat groats, quinoa, millet, and this is some quinoa bran. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. It'll come out of the bowl. And six cups of water. This is gonna go over medium high heat to get it simmering almost to a boil and then reduce it to medium. You're gonna cook it for about 50 minutes we want it to get nice and thick and of course have all of our grains cooked through. All right, our porridge has been cooking for just under an hour and it's nice and creamy. The consistency roughly of a really thick oatmeal and that's what we want. Now we're going to get the toppings going for our porridge. I've got a little coconut oil here. I'm going to add this to a pan over medium heat. And I'm going to use this to toast some unsweetened coconut flakes. Coconut is done, nice and toasty. I'm going to remove it from the pan and try to leave a little bit of the coconut oil in the pan for our next step. I'm going to add some apples to this pan. So it's one apple chopped in quarter inch pieces. The recipe calls for pink ladies, but these honey crisps at the store were gorgeous, so I grabbed those. Those will work just fine. All right, I'm gonna to add to this about two tablespoons of honey. Some cinnamon and a little salt. We're gonna stir this and cook it till the apples just start to cook down so it's a beautiful topping for our porridge. All right, I'm gonna turn off the heat. These look perfect. This looks delicious and the apples smell incredible. I've dished up a little bit of the porridge. I'm gonna add some of that toasted coconut and some of these gorgeous apples. Make sure I get some of that sauce on there. and a little bit of sea salt. The recipe calls for bee pollen. I'm gonna be honest with you and tell you that's not my jam, I'm not into it. So I'm going just like this. That is delicious and it's entirely gluten-free. Check out G Free Foodie for more incredible recipes and click on the link below to sign up for Bon Appetit and a number of my other favorite magazines. I'll help you make their recipes gluten-free. Thanks. Thanks for watching. You can follow the link listed here or in the description of our video to get Food Network Magazine and a bunch of my other favorite titles delivered to your house for just $2. It's a screaming deal. Thanks for being a G-Free foodie.